and 19. So that brings us now to the general debate. So just a couple of things before we start. Can I remind you that the standing orders, both yours and those of Parliament, are that this is a debate. It is an open debate, and therefore uh, you should be able to do it without reading. So you should be able to do it uh, from sparse notes, but this is a, an open debate. And secondly, in do saying that, can I remind you that you are not protected by privilege, and you are on public television. So do be careful <laughs> what, you, <laughs> what you say, uh, because, because you, are not, you don't have that protection that MPs have. So you have three minutes each. The bell will ring at the end of the three minutes. And uh, I have a list here, and the first speaker, are we ready to go? Uh, so, oh, sorry, I've got to say the words, don't I? So would some honourable member care to move that the House take note of miscellaneous business? Madam Speaker, I so uh, move. So, so I call Pushpa Walata Barua. Waiata Barua. E te mangai o te whare, te nā koe. To the members of the House, tēnā koutou. My name is Pushpa Waiata Barua, and I have a dual heritage, being Māori from my mother's side and from my father's, coming from the Barua people of Bangladesh. With this unique mix, what makes my upbringing even more different is that I was born and raised in a European country called Switzerland. Where I lived for the first 12 years Without of my notes. life. Sorry. <laughs> for the first 12 years of my life, a third culture kid, so to speak, living in a multilingual, multi ethnic, and diverse community. Such experiences have shaped my worldwide view, especially from my corner of the world now, which is Aotearoa, New Zealand. And yet, one of the significant issues I believe that youth face today is how we deal with difference how we move beyond stereotypes and unconscious bias, move beyond our fears and insecurities regarding our own identities, and, our, and to examine power and privilege in free and frank discussion. We see it all the time. Prejudicial bullying at school, social media, cyberbullying, low-level racism. They might seem small now, but they set us on a pathway, a trajectory of intolerance and discrimination. I'm sorry, that, but, but I am going to say to you, it's a very meaningful speech, but you should be doing it from the heart, not from your notes. So don't read your notes. That is the rules. Three minutes, off you go. Okay. <sighs> you can do it. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Sorry. And if we leave this unchecked and unrefuted, it can lead to bigger problems, such as the Christchurch incident and the terrorist attack. My reasons for bringing this topic up is because I know a lot of young people, a lot of young leaders such as us, that are trying to make a difference, trying to make a stand, and trying to set a voice for us. I know some youth who are capable of being leaders, and that is why I believe we can do this. I believe that New Zealand, Aotearoa, is a nation capable of, will of wanting to stand up for its identity, to stand up for this diversity. We are a changing generation. We are the future. It's hard to be only one person when there's so many of us. You're doing well. Thank you. As a Deputy Prime Minister and our New Zealand First Party, Right Honourable Winston Peters said, and I am quoting, it is only by drawing on our strengths as people will we prevail against the malevolent forces of intolerance and hate. Such strength come from the unity in our diversity. As youth, we are now charged with the responsibility your time is, is up. Yep. Point of, point of order? 
wondered if you could clarify. Um, we were all asked to write speeches for the general debate. Would you like us not to use those speeches that we've written? Well, I'd like you to give, give your speech without reading your notes, yes. Yep, that's what a general debate's all about. Point of order. Uh, Madam Speaker, can you please refer to where in standing orders it states that members must not read from uh, a speech? Yes. In these? No, no, no. We, we don't use those. I know. I know you have. You have your set, but the underlying set of rule of, of standing orders, uh, and yours mirror those, is that general debate speeches, uh, and in fact most speeches, other than the minister's first and third reading speeches of a bill, which are used by the courts, are generally done. This is a house of debate, so you know you can refer to your notes, but I don't, I'd rather you didn't read them. That's the rules that I would apply to anyone. Point of order. I seek leave for us to suspend the standing orders that <laughs> allow us to not <laughs> to allow us to read our speeches. Well, we'll think very carefully before you do that. Um, I mean, that is a major thing to do, because you're setting aside all the rules. This is a house of debate. Oh. I, I, I mean, I, I'm happy to move that. I, I mean, I'm happy to, to, to put the leave, but, but no, don't, don't argue. I'm, 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 I'm on my feet. Just think very carefully about what you're here for. The general debate is the opportunity for you to stand up and make a speech about anything you like. And you're telling me, all of you, that you can't do that without reading it? It doesn't have to be word perfect. It should be something that you feel you want to say when you have this opportunity in this House of Representatives. And you want to put aside all the standing orders in order to be able to read a three-minute speech. I'm very happy if you re refer to notes, but I'm asking you not to read a, re a prepared speech. It is in our standing orders. Now, if, you want to, if, you want, if you wanted me to, to, to seek leave for that, to put the leave for that, I'm happy to do it. But that means that all the rules are gone. And, and, and do we want that? Um, You're speaking I, to your point of order, yeah? Yes. Um, sorry to clarify, I would only like to seek leave to uh, suspend the one standing order. I don't have the exact number because I didn't know order. that we had to know the main house's standing orders off by heart. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so the member is seeking leave, is seeking to move, is seeking leave to move that that uh, um, requirement, that standing order that requires you to debate, not read a speech in this house, be set aside. Is there any objection to that? Um, yeah. Madam Speaker, yes. I object to that point of order okay. as I do believe it is a debate. Yep. Okay. So, so the leave is not put because one member can any one member can object. Okay. So we move on and look. You know, you're not going to be judged on being word perfect. Just stand up, take this opportunity to make a speech. Yeah, Who's next? I call Mala Berryman Kemp. Yeah. <laughs> ko rangi nui kairunga ko papatua nuku kai